Hi. Hey, so I went on a road trip with a friend a little while ago and we went up to PE and I took the opportunity to go and look in a typo store because that is like the, my ultimate, what? Dream shop. Yes. Remember that one. But anyways, there were a lot of beautiful things that I really wanted to get. But obviously, I couldn't get everything. Unfortunately. If someone would like to sponsor me some typo stuff, that would be cool. Oh wait, Corona. <coughs> and now to see what I actually did get while I was at said typo store. Are you ready to see? And there it is. Look at these brown bags, I love them. I will cut it out and frame it and use it for a thing. Stay tuned for the thing. What's in the bag? Let us see. Ooh, I need to stand up for this. Okay. So I was actually looking for one of these. Okay, so I've got like a weekly planner thing. I will show you these things like better now now. Um, I actually wanted a weekly planner because I have no self-discipline and this will help me out a lot. Um, so it's got like Monday through to Sunday and it's got to do and it's got like breakfast, lunch, dinner and water intake, happiness level and quality of sleep, which I haven't been getting. Let's move on from that. What? I got this jumbo sticker thing of a little spaceman going lost. So that was cool. Um, he's kind of like spongy and he's quite big and I'll probably stick him on my art journal or like laptop or something. Hmm, I don't know. Do I want to stick him on my laptop? We'll have to find out. Then these were cool for, um, is it like the dot journaling or that? I didn't get a dot journal. I really wanted to, but I had to pick one. But I figured these would still be cool for like scrapbooking or just journaling, journaling in general. So those are really cute. Like this one's got like mood and bossy and ugh and must do and yeah, stuff like that. Feeling lucky. I'm the boss, CEO in the making. Yes. And then like these, it's just got like really cute little food things. Look at the avocado. Okay, then I got this adorable, um, it's like a metal sticker. So it kind of looks like a badge, but it's not. Um, maybe I'll stick it on my art channel. Not sure, but it's cute. Okay. And then I landed up getting one of the books. Um, it was so hard choosing a book, but I landed up getting the Living My Best Life book. I felt it was relevant. Um, and it just says track your habits and bring on the good vibes. Yes, I'll invite some of that. Um, it's still in its plastic, so I'm actually going to open it in front of you guys. Um, I'll do that now, now. And then, lastly, I didn't buy this one, but a friend gave it to me, so from the same weekend. So the bucket list. Um, and that's pretty cool as well, and I will show it to you. Thank you, person. You know who you are. Okay, so let's take a closer look. I'll start with this one since it's already open. You can see it's got silver lettering. It just says a comprehensive guide to all the cool stuff I want to do before I kick the bucket. Hell yeah. And uh, if I just flip open to a random one, you can see what it looks like. So it's like task, why am I doing this? When am I going to do it? Task complete, how, when, where, how it made me feel. And then like photos or trinkets or proof I did it. So that's really cool. And then it's just got these like motivational things in between and bucket list ideas. Tell me if you've done any of these on this page. Pause and take a look. So that's really cool. Yeah. Then there's this one. And the reason I got it is because it is like a tracking your habits. Um, and well, let's open it and we can take a look and you'll see what I mean. Oh, it feels so nice. 
Okay. So here we go. Here's like a weekly thing, and it's very similar to the other pad I showed you. It's also got breakfast, lunch, snack, um, movement, happiness level, and then here's like daily tasks and stuff. So that's really cool. And then it's also just got these pages in between my goals, my reflections, things you could jot down. Um, so I felt like that could work really well. Cute, right? Okay. Take a closer look at the stickers. Which one is your favorite? And then of course the jumbo sticker. You can see it's quite big and it's spongy. And there's the heart up close, nice and shiny. And um, here is the track your goals um, pad, I guess, notepad. Um, perhaps you can see it better if I take it out of its plastic. The book is cool, but I feel like this is also nice to just have on your desk or wherever. Um, and then you can just like tear it off as you go week by week which is really cool as well. And I like the gold at the top. And here we go, you can see these stickers a little more up front. Look at the little faces on the bus, feeling lucky. Yeah. So those are really cool and I'm keen to use them. So what did I get all together? So I've decided to stick this on my art journal and I'm going to use it to cover up that mark. There we go! Isn't that cute? I can collect other things to stick on there and while I've got my art journal out, let's see if there's anything I'm willing to show you inside. Oh, so I've started my front cover with just, I want to like stick a bomb the whole thing. So these are stickers I've gotten from different things. This is from Little Paracosm. This is from um, Avara Creates. Has she changed her name? Uh, this is from a sticker I made for a CD. The little succulents is from um, Tehila. And this is from Darren's Coffee Business. Okay, what can you see? No, 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 no. Hmm. I will allow you to see this. I was practicing little galaxies with watercolor, and I'll allow you to see this. Um, I was using or testing out some Copic markers that were given to me, so that's what I did. Do you even need to shake these things? I, I don't know. So here we go. I'll probably use this one anyways. And then you'll see how I'm gonna use the typo bag. Nothing fancy, but you'll see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is an old frame I've got and um, I'm gonna take this piece out so that I can use it to figure out which section of the bag I want to use. So I really like the eye, so basically this is going to be like the background. Okay, let's go with the top. Okay.
Now I'm gonna plan where I want my photo to be. So since I want the eye to show, I'm using the Polaroid photo and I'm gonna put it there. Um, and then I'll probably put Zena's name, who's the cat, somewhere along here. Hmm. Okay, so we've got like gold. We've got this black pattern. Come on. Or we've got the blue hearts on the yellow. Okay, I think not the color. I think we're either gonna go black and white or the bronzy tape. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the bronze since there's already so much black on the page anyways. And then from the other side of the bag, I'm gonna use that to put Zena's name onto. So I'll obviously cut it into a neater strip. Okay, well let's use a random stamp letter. So if the letters are about that thick then we can fit this in like three times. I only need two thirds of that, I'd say. And go shoop. So now this side's actually black, which I didn't realize. Oh, I've got right in there. Hmm, let's see this piece is black. We could even stamp her name in gold. Hmm, might stand up, huh? Well, let's test because I've got some I don't know if it's necessarily gold it's more like it says pale gold let's just test it out and see oh okay I feel like if it's thick enough it'll work, but as soon as it starts thinning out, I'm worried the lettering won't be as clear. So let's just rather stick with that side. Are we even going to want it to be that long? That's quite long, so I feel like we can trim that down to like there. Sweet, I'm just guessing. I'm going to stick it above the eye. And I brought this gold paint because I decided I thought it would be cool if we put like a swish of gold paint over there. So I'm going to do that first because then if we paint it first then we're giving the paint more time to dry in between the other stuff. Okay, so it's supposed to look kind of messy. I don't even know if you can see the full effect. I have this stencil and I thought we could maybe do some on the side there. Um, the idea is for it to be a bit rough so it doesn't really matter if it gets messed up a bit. So while that dries, let's stamp out Zena's name. Start by finding the letters I need. Okay, now I don't even have a ink pad or a stamp pad, so I'm just gonna take this little palette and I've got some black acrylic paint. I'm gonna put some onto the palette, but I'm gonna spread it out because you don't want a thick blob of paint, otherwise the lid is not gonna come out. Okay. 
okay so you can see just the lid is black you don't want the whole thing to be black You can see that's kind of messy, but that's fine. Um, we're going for that grungy look anyways. You can see how the silvers come through. That's interesting. <laughs> so you can see um, on the letter A, there was some paint on the corner and you can see the paints come through on the paper. That's what I was like. You don't want a whole big blob of paint. You really only just want the letter itself to have the paint on. But if I had a normal ink pad, I'm sure I wouldn't really have that problem. But that's quite fine, I'm not too fussy. So then that's going to be stuck over there. See that's pretty much dried. And we're going to use double sided tape to stick that on. Okay, and then I'm just gonna figure out what I wanna do here. Like, do I want a strip there and there, or do I just want one strip along the top? I, sim I think since we've got so much space to play with, I might just do two strips. Um, I'm gonna go this side and this side, rather than this side and this side. The reason being is um, there's more like a negative space there, so it doesn't matter if I go over, where if I go over this side, I'm cropping the top of my head off. I am actually going to use some double-sided tape to just make sure that stays in place. This Polaroid photo is relatively heavy, so it's not just like a little flat piece of paper, so this might over time not hold this in place anymore. I'm trying not to press on the photo directly um, just because I don't want to get my fingerprints on it, like oily fingerprints. I'm actually just going to grab a dish towel so I can push down on it. There we go, now it's stuck up. I want the two pieces of tape to have about equal length. Oh yeah, there we go. Try this thing. Did it work? <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Typo, you really need to do something about this. Online shopping is not the same as walking into a store and just buying everything without any self control. Look, look, more luck, look. I bring you good luck with a black cat. He's like, oh god, you wouldn't let me go.